Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today we are going to create a Christmas card with a brand new stamp set over at Pretty Paint Posh. This stamp set is called Poinsettia Corners, and if you love poinsettias, this is perfect for Christmas and holidays. I'm also going to use a stencil that's brand new. This is called the Poinsettia Stencil. This actually is meant to coordinate with an existing Poinsettia stamp set, um, but I'm going to use it on its own for a background. So with that being said, let's jump in and do some stamping. I'm going to take this beautiful flower along with the holly leaf, stamp that on the bottom of my panel with memento ink, and then I'll flip it, my panel around and stamp it one more. It's overhanging just a little bit, but that's okay. I want to do some layering with the flower so I don't need the whole image. I just need an inside portion of that larger flower. I'm going to zoom in, play some music while I color. I listed the caps um, that I used up in the corner for you guys, but I did speed the video up quite a bit so we can um, make the video shortened a little bit. But as I color, I'll play some music for you, and then when I'm done coloring, I'll catch you back. Okay, coloring is all done. I'm going to go ahead and separate my dies with the coordinating die set and we'll line them up and die cut out both holly leaves and then our flourish here. But the flower that we colored in up on top here, I'm going to fussy cut that out. And when I fussy cut it, I'm going to fussy cut it all the way to the line and this way we can do some layering. So let's separate this and then run our dies through the die cutting machine and then use our, our fussy cutting scissors to cut out that, that smaller flower. I like doing this because it adds dimension to my cards and I like the kind of decoupage look. Now after everything's die cut and fussy cut, I'm going to go ahead and use my black memento marker and I'm just going to go around the edges of my fussy cut flower. This is going to clean up any white areas that I left when I trimmed around it, and it's really just going to give it a nice sharp clean look when I do layering. You can notice on my larger floral I didn't color the inside portion of the flower because I knew I was going to do a little layering, at least the larger one there. Okay, let's go ahead. I went ahead and used my, my warm, my probably my W6 to fill in that flower center 
we're going to end up covering that, so you really don't need, need to do that. Let's add a foam square behind here and just line that up on our flower. You can see, I just love that look. And then with these little hollies, um, they're, they're just about the same size as the ones on our little swag here. So I'm going to go ahead and add these right over the existing ones also. And then we have a nice little flower arrangement ready to go. Now we're going to go ahead and set this aside. We'll work on our background. So we're going to take our poinsettia stencil. And this has the, the, the flowers and then it also has the leaves. Um, I'm just going to use the flower portion. Let's take this out. I am going to grab, I bought a brand new thing of pixie spray, so we're good to go. <laughs> I'm going to spray the back of my stencil. So it's lightly tacky. And I'm not worried about the center of my panel. I'm just worried about um, the edges. So there's three flowers on here, so it works out perfectly if you put it on the bottom. I'm, I wanted a light background, so I'm using a Distress Oxide ink. This is Antique Linen, and I'm just lightly going over my flowers, just doing a nice shading with it. After the bottom three are done, we'll lift up our stencil, and then we'll shift it so we can get the edges around this corner. These three just so happen to go around the corner almost beautifully. And then we'll ink up with a little bit more antique linen and do a little bit more light shading here. And then I think we have room for one more flower if we flip our panel around. We can fit one in this open area here. And that worked out good. Just some extra flowers in the background I think are really going to stand out. Add a little flower to the corner too doesn't hurt. <laughs> Might as well. We have our stencil already, already to go. <laughs> okay, now I have some red card stock here. This is where we're going to stamp our sentiment. I was going to stamp my sentiment directly on it. Um, I think we're going to round the corners on the bottom of this. Um, I'm just using the quarter, my corner chomper, the quarter inch side. And I think I want a little bit more of my background showing. So I'm bringing in my paper trimmer and we're going to trim about a quarter inch off. We'll trim off a quarter inch off the right, flip it around and trim a quarter inch off the top, bring back my corner chomper and re-round that corner here. And I think this is a little bit better. You can see a little bit more of the design in the background. For my sentiment, we're going to be using another stamp set that's that's new over at the Pretty Pink Paw Shop. If you guys, are, I've said this before, if you guys are looking for a nice uh, Christmas sentiment stamp set, this is really nice. It has a variety of sentiments that you can mix and match. For my card today, I chose Merry Christmas. This stamp set, although it's all sentiments, it does have a coordinating die set that will die cut out all the larger scripty words. So I can die cut out Merry Christmas. I'm going to stamp it on some red cardstock, the same color that I'm using for my little rounded corner panel. I'm inking up my Merry Christmas with my Versamark ink. And then I'm going to go over it with some white embossing powder. Melting that, I think it's going to really stand out against that red cardstock. So we'll just go ahead and bring in our heat gun and do a little bit of melting. And I already treated my paper with my anti-static powder tool. Once we have our Merry Christmas all melted, I'll go ahead and separate the coordinating dies and die cut out my Merry Christmas. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and add some foam adhesive behind our uh, poinsettia swag here. This is going to go on the top, the straight edge. And we'll flip this around and then I'm going to go ahead and use some foam tape and then we're going to add this to our card base. So it's popped up one layer higher. And I don't think I mentioned that. I did do my stenciling not on a panel, it was actually my card base. So this is a top folding card base that I stenciled on. Lovely, okay. We're gonna trim down some foam squares and put them behind our Merry Christmas. And I'm sorry about my phone. And then these are gonna go layered in the center of that red area, kind of filling it in. Remove the release paper and add our Christmas. The Christmas overhung just a little bit, so it was nice to have that same color behind it. But we still have dimension, which is nice. 
Okay, for bells and whistles, we are gonna bring in some brand new pearls. Isn't that so pretty? I love that layered look. <laughs> the pearls that I'm using are called ivory. We're gonna just go ahead and open up our package. The smallest ones will fit in the flower centers beautifully. I'm gonna use my scissors to open up those that staple there. Bring in my little dish. And then um, for these flowers, we're gonna put five of the smaller pearls in the center of each one. So we're gonna use our glue, add a nice little glob there, <laughs> and then just fill it in with five of those smaller pearls. Now we do have the, I was, I was gonna leave the holly berries just red, but we have red pearls, so we might as well add some red pearls too. Let's bring those in, add three pearls to the left holly and to the right holly. And then we have some nice little accent pieces along with dimension to our project. If I can get it over. <laughs> But that will be my card for today, guys, for Pretty Pink Posh. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll be starting my uh, Christmas series pretty soon, too, guys. I think um, you'll enjoy it. have a lot of fun projects waiting for you guys. But if you're interested in the this set, this is the Poinsettia Corners and the Holiday Scripts. I'll list it down below in the description area. And if you guys are interested, check out my blog. There's close-up pictures over there. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. We will see you again real soon, guys. Bye-bye.